I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 here. I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos directly from your Tab S7 or S7 Plus onto your MacBook or Apple computer via the uh, charging cable. Now, first thing I want to mention is if you want to transfer videos and photos from the Tab to your MacBook, it's different than a Windows computer. With a Windows computer, you can just plug in your charging cable, plug it directly into your Tab, and go ahead and start uh, transferring files. If you have a MacBook or Apple computer, it's a little bit different and the easiest way to go ahead about this is to go ahead and download this right here It's an Android um, transfer file so basically I'm gonna put this link below it's Android file transfer for a, a Apple computer or Mac OS 10.7 uh, 10 and higher you need to do is download that once you download that you're always going to have this little uh, download and install it you're always going to have this little Android um, guy icon down here okay and then once we have this now, only thing we got to do is just plug in or tap to our MacBook or Apple computer and we'll be able to transfer just like a Windows computer. So let me show you how this works. So first thing is plug in your USB-A into a USB socket on your uh, Apple computer or your MacBook. And the other side, we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug it into our tab right here. I just heard a little beep here. Now the thing is... Okay, so I get like a message on here. Now it says up here, uh, no Android device. That's perfectly fine. And if I look on my tab here, okay, so it says slow charging. Okay, that's fine. Let me just click on OK here. And I have to um, go ahead and log in. So go ahead and uh, log in. And then as soon as I log in, while it's connected, okay, nothing popped up here. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And now you can see something pops up on my screen here, allow access to tablet data. I'm going to go ahead and click on allow right there. And now I'll just click on OK on the, uh, on the screen here. That's perfectly fine. Just click on, oops, let me just go back here. Let me click on that little Android guy. And now we can see this. You can see that it's plugged in to my uh, tab right here. So now you can see this window here pops up. Okay, now take note. You see tablet right here. I also have an SD card in my um, in my tab as well. So there's also a card over here. So let's just go to tablet. This is my the memory that's in my uh, just my tablet. If I go to DCIM folder, double tap on that, and then you know I have camera here, all my photos and videos. You have screen recordings for whatever uh, screen recordings you had, and you had screenshots here. So if I go in the camera right here. These are all the photos and videos that I currently have in the internal memory of my tab. You can see JPEG here. You can see MP4s for videos here. So if I want to go ahead and transfer, I can just drag and drop one of them onto my desktop or wherever I want. Just drag and drop it, and you can see it right up there. What I typically do is just go to the um, uh, go to the desktop and I make a new folder, and then I go ahead and name it, or just you can go ahead and rename it whatever you want, and then you can go ahead and uh, choose and select what videos or uh, photos you want or I mean if you want to do all of them you can go ahead and just highlight all of them then you can drag and then you can drop it directly into the folder and you can see it so if I double click on this folder right here now all these video uh, videos and folders are currently on my my MacBook here and the same thing with the SD card if you have SD card in there you can tap on card right here and then you have your DCIM and then you have camera right here and you can see I only took a couple photos and videos on here and this is on my SD card so there you go I mean I have all those on my MacBook now and there you go pretty simple